let me tell you a story of co-arising codependent causalities. What happens if you make a stance and discover that all the choices, decisions and judgments that you made in your life were correct to a certain extent, but variegated, erring, some roughs, some clashes, defects, afflictions, and so on. So imagine that you are caught in a web of codependent, co-arising causalities. And even being in the right, you're encountering those variable networks of delusion, ignorance, attachment, stupidity, flawed belief systems, things contradicting your hard-won realizations, your metaphysical insights, your realizations, gods, divinities. And you may be at odds with, for example, religion, belief systems, ideologies, politics, societal ideas, and so on. So what happens is that whether you like or not, your hands are tied. And you are pulled in to this network. And what makes a man is the resilience and the profound reverence and loyalty to things you admonish and believe that are true and realize as true as your inner truth. Despite the delusion, ignorance, and attachment trying to prove you the contrary, trying to prove something otherwise. So, masters and mistresses come and go. They appear and disappear. Delusion, ignorance stays. But it is up to you to realize yourself by yourself, all the hard-won things that others did before, because you need to incorporate it yourself in order to successfully reach it. Over the gods. Do I consider myself defeated? No. Am I full of regrets? I couldn't change anything. And I was forced to fight by war. I was forced to wage by battles. I'm a fulfilled man. Yet, I won by being defeated. I was defeated by ignorance, arrogance, wrath, delusion, religious, societal or otherwise. Did I manage to change anything? Perhaps this, perhaps that. But at least by making a heroic stance throughout your life, not being defeated, not giving in, not being broken down to pieces into a kneeling slave that the opponents would like to turn you into, You in your name, with the gods, with the divinities, because it is the process of heroization and epitomization as in ancient Greece and Rome that counts. The process of your wise decisions and judgments along the path. And if those stances are objectively correct, realized, incorporated, and in virtue. Then you ignore the naysayers because they stay with their ignorance, aliases, stupidities, and folly. With human stupidity, the gods themselves contend in vain. It was always so. At the point of death, 
you simply take your Manjushri sword and cut through all those delusions of theirs so they have no right to ensnare you and this once again another spirit is breaking free from this mess so with this small speech I would like to say never give up always seek and find because it's not the seeking but the finding of yourself between you and God that is worthwhile and the life goes on the world goes on whether they destroy it they destroy themselves or not there's no such thing as the end of the world unless they finish themselves off so there is all in Victi Pater Kronos the Profundi Clamavi Thank you.